Okay, new assignment for writing. We are going to do a prompt for St. Patrick's Day. Um, so, we have some leprechauns. The leprechauns are tired of their uniforms. I'm sure you know what I'm talking about. The green, with the suspenders, the buckle on their shoes. They're tired of it. You're going to write a letter to the leprechauns, or to a leprechaun, describing your new design. Make sure you use descriptive words. So what you're going to do is you're going to first sketch out your design. So remember, I am not an artist. This is just an example. So let's say I would like to create a, um, you know, for me, I'm gonna do a, a, a look that can be used for boys and girls. So I'm going to do, I think that boys are done wearing kilts. We're gonna do pants. Cause I feel like some of the leprechauns, they wear like those skirt kilt things. We're just gonna do pants. And they're gonna be easy to move around in. Um, and you know what? Leprechauns are really sneaky. So I'm gonna do like some camouflage coloring. But they're gonna be like spandex material. So I'm gonna go ahead and color. All right, so I've got the pants done. Now, for shoes. I was recently watching a show about rock climbers and I thought their shoes were really interesting. They're kind of like flats so that they can grip onto rocks better. And I feel like as a leprechaun, you might be climbing a little bit. So I'm gonna do those shoes. And what I noticed is on the bottom of the shoes, they had like really good grip. So let me make sure I draw the grip. I'm gonna say it's um, rubber. And this is probably made out of like a stretchy material, kind of like the pants, but a little more stiff. So stiffer spandex kind of like water shoes and I'm writing myself these notes so I remember what I want to say in my letter plus when I submit this to Maziki I want her to see my design too and know all the details that I thought of so let's move on to the shirt Now I'm thinking along the lines of this, the same color scheme. So let's do, I like how like um, sports teams, they have like a tank top option, but you can wear, oh hi kitten. You can wear like sleeves underneath it, you know? Two pieces. Let's 
So if it's a chilly March 17th, then they don't have to worry about it. Um, let's see. I don't want... Let's do like a... a stripes to make it a little interesting because the new thing is to mix your patterns, like the new trend is to mix your patterns. So I feel like stripes and camo would be like super new wave and they could probably wear this for a little bit. like the suspenders look so we're gonna do optional suspenders too and they're going to be um, a gold color similar to the gold that they hide so we're gonna do optional suspenders and suspenders they come together in the back like this and then they come down here and they've got like a little buckle. And a little clip. All right, so that's my design. Now I'm going to write about it. So while I'm writing, I want to have my design out so I know what I'm writing about. And on my first sheet of paper, I'm probably going to do a whole lot of planning, okay? So what that looks like is I'm going to, it's a letter, right? Because we're writing a letter to our leprechauns. So I'm going to put, dear leprechauns, at the top, okay? Then I'm going to be writing out what I want to tell them about. So first, I probably want to tell them that they're right that their look is out of date. Their look is old. And I'm going to come up with a better descriptive word, but for right now I'm just planning. So that's probably going to be my first paragraph. My second paragraph is going to be describing the new look that I think they should have. Describe new look. My last paragraph is going to be trying to convince them why my idea is the best. So, convince that my design is the best. And again, I'm going to be using a lot of descriptive words like for the colors, instead of like green, I'm gonna look up synonyms for green. Like Kelly green, emerald, maybe even as green as the grass. I have camouflage in there. I have lime green. Instead of black, I could write midnight instead of yellow gold. So thinking about those types of descriptive words, as well as some um, reasoning why they should use your design, such as it being protective, flexible material, um, stylish. Your design can be as unique as you want it, so do not use my design. Use your own design. Come up with something that you think leprechauns would really like. If you don't think that leprechauns need to be camouflaged in this day and age, 
maybe they need some revamping to their wardrobe with more color. Maybe green is so last year. I don't know. Come up with something really um, unique and different and submit it to me. Don't forget when you're writing your letter to sign your name. Sincerely, Miss Iki, or Warm Regards, or Your Friend. Okay, so when you're done drafting, you're gonna come up with three paragraphs describing, telling them that they need to use your design, and then sign your name. Don't forget Dear Leprechauns. Okay, all right. When you're done, you can either type it or send a picture to me. Up to you. And you can do all of this on the computer too. I just like to write it out. All right, happy designing. <laughs>